A miracle. There was a light at the end of the tunnel. I rushed to freedom, but suddenly I was ambushed by a mysterious man in white. The man in white. Of course, he must be the higher professional of whom they spoke. He failed to thwart my escape into the outside world, and now, one year hence, he's returning to rectify his mistake and <gasps> put me back in the womb. Play wheels on the bus and get the hell out of my sight. Where's Brian? Hey, aren't you coming? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I've been to New York. It's like Prague sons the whimsy. Will you be okay by yourself? Oh, I think I'll manage. All right, you guys, we're off. Those scouts are never gonna know what hit him. No. Let him go. How are you coming, Johnson? Well, Mr. Weed, I've been working on the new G.I. Jew line, and as you can see, they look great. You call these bagels? Whoa! I'm glad he's on our side. Peter! What the... Are you sleeping on the job? Uh, uh no, there's a, a bug in my eye, and I'm trying to suffocate him. Peter, I like you, but I need you to be more than just eye candy around here. It's your job to watch for any toys that could be hazardous to children. Now look sharp! Uh, yes, sir. Good news, good news! What, more people I love think I'm an arrogant jerk? You more than that, Mr. Nominated for an Adult Movie Award for Best New Director? A Woody? I'm up for a Woody? Come on, call your family. I bet they'll be really proud of you. No, I'd rather they think I'm a jerk than a smut peddler. Brian, they're your family. They'll love you even if you made a couple of crappy movies. I mean, Blythe Danner still loves Gwyneth Paltrow. Ooh, score one for me! <laughs> You know, I know this is the wrong time to be starstruck, but Mel Gibson is shooting at us. Peter! Help! Oh, man, I'm coming, Lois. Hey, Lois, look, I'm a booger. Peter, for God's sake! Oh, okay, okay, grab my hand. <gasps> Package for Glenn Quagmire. Oh, uh, excuse me. I got a package for you, too. All right. Nice try, but I built up an immunity. Any last words? You wouldn't kill me, would you? Thanks for helping me dig this hole, Mr. Moltisanti. Hey, no problem, Stewie. And this could be a pain in the ass when you gotta do it all by yourself. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, go ahead and drop it in. All right, Peter, here we are. Well, everything looks fine. All right, family, line up for cigar burns. Ah! <laughs> Ow! Ah! Come on! What? What are we doing? God's will, Brian. A book burning? Come on, grab an armful! We have to destroy everything that's harmful to God. Now hand it over, Mr. Top. Very well, Mr. Griffin. I'll give you the skull, but you have to catch me first! Looks like you found me, Mr. Griffin. But which one of us is the real king of prop comedy and not just an illusion, huh? That's right, Mr. Griffin. Just a little further. Ah! Mommy, I'm dying. I'm dying. I said I'm dying. Hey, I'm dying up here. What is this, a Tommy Lee pool party? Come on, Lewis, get with me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He made me clean out the fridge in the employee lounge, and the employees were mad at me because I, I threw out food that they still wanted. I don't know what's in there. Oh, that's it. PETA is completely out of control. We've got to do something to take him down and get your company back. Right, right, but how? In order to oust an idiot, we've got to think like an idiot. Let's see. What's PETA's weakness? He's got to have a weakness. Swamp monsters. 
Swamp monsters, of course. Mom, you don't understand. Luke and I really connect very deeply. He's all alone in there, and I'm all alone out here. In a way, we're both in prison. Well, Meg, there's a big difference there. He's in prison for a reason. He broke the law. He robbed a convenience store to pay for medication for his mom. Oh, I'm sure he gave you a very convincing sob story. It's not a sob story. It's true. Frankly, I don't care, Meg. I do not want you seeing him again. Very good, Jonas. Oh, my, look at the time. Mrs. Griffin, I practice just like you said. Oh, far be it from me to call you a liar. Huh? No, nothing, nothing. See you next week. All right, Peter, we got a big day ahead of us. I'm gonna show you that age is just a state of mind. Come on, hop in my limo. Wow, a limo! Shotgun! So Abby, Elaine, and Janet have their little lunch click, and of course, I'm not invited. Seems like you're doing everything and they're doing nothing. Well, I don't know, but what I do know is that in the staff meeting, uh -huh. Christina said my uh -huh. inventory system wasn't feasible. She's obviously when the threatened by you. the sales manager came back in it's the room, ridiculous, she told and I him the idea as if it was hers. You can't let and him get Teresa to you. And then Teresa acts like she's jealous of what you have. It's that nothing I don't to do trust. with you and everything and to do with them. Only you can prevent forest fires. You're eating something. You bastard! You have food? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Give me that! <laughs> Peter! You've been eating my legs? Yeah, see, now this is why I didn't say anything. I knew you were gonna get like this. What the hell is wrong with you? Look, look, Joe, I, J Joe... You've been eating me! Okay, you know what? Let's just agree to disagree. Hello, I'm Lois Griffin. Welcome to our home. So, what, she's like your mom or something? <laughs> Tina, can I get you a warm washcloth to wipe the dried blood from under your nose? Here, baby, I'll show you the channel Lois doesn't know about. Brian, would you? Chris, look away. Meg takes Joey upstairs. Wait, wait. That man seems to have suffered a rather serious snake bite. And now the real reason to have an HD TV. And now, the Fox News 6 o'clock report with Rhonda Latimer in high definition. Good evening, everyone, and I hope you're as thrilled about the new format change as I am. Ah! 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! I'll get all of the A's out of my body. Ah! Devin, do you have a cigarette? Sure, and here's a copy of my last movie. It's essentially Brokeback Mountain from the point of view of the horses. Hey, the sun's been up for an hour. Shouldn't we get riding? Uh, are they still sleeping? I don't know. I'll check. Ah! What? Ah! What? What? Run! What is it? Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Ah! Run! Brian Griffin. Good luck, Brian. Uh, hi. I'm I'm Brian Griffin, and this is from John Waltz's Leaving Wichita. <sighs> Julie, there's something I gotta tell you. I saw Dr. Phillips today. I might not make it to Christmas. Ugh. Thank you. Next. Next? But no, no, hold on, Brian. Stay up there. Stay there. How about now? Well, well we are supposed to see other people, and I, I guess it's better to go out with you than some sex pervert. I'm in. This is a photograph. Who oh, is it? Wait a minute. You saw the whole thing? Yes, indeed. Oh, <laughs> boy. Have I been having some fun at your expense, old man? How could you do that to me? Do you have any idea how upset I am about all this? I killed one of my own kind, Stewie. How would you feel if you killed a baby? Well, I've killed seven, but the point is you might feel better if you just confess to what you've done. <sighs> Maybe you're right. What? You are not performing an exorcism on my baby! Mrs. Griffin, you can give him to us, or we can take him by force. No! Don't worry, Lois, we'll hide in the one place they can't find us. In Imagination Land. Where you burp where you fart, and you fart where you burp. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, that's how it happens. <laughs>